good morning. How's it going? We're on our way to Alt Shi Cha Chan Boffy, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sounds more like a Chinese dish. I've got my dad, uncle and brother-in-law with me this weekend. It was my dad's birthday last month and he wanted a boffy trip. So here we are. We're also going to climb Ben Jarag as well. So it should be a fun family outing. You right, dad? Yeah. Coping with that big log there? Yeah, yeah, so far so good. So I'm about 100 metres away from the boffy and I can just see the chimney no more. You're almost on top of this boffy before it appears. But the boffy's just hidden in that little dip there. Uncle Simon will be glad because he says this boffy's a holy grail. There's a new hydro scheme down there. That wasn't here. That was last year, four or five years ago. Quick, run, 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 run! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've had some lunch at the boffy. My poor dad, he's away to sleep, he's not coming up to Munro. Basically, he got in at half three this morning from a trip to London. Picked me up at seven o'clock, so he's pooped. So that just leaves me, Simon and Coley to blast up this Munro. So this track here ends, well, it double backs on itself and heads in a different direction. This is where we come off the track and we head up the hill path towards the Monroe and demand an altitude of 600 meters. That's the views opening up behind us. You can see over Persia. Well, we've got less than two kilometers to go to the summit. This flat section is like the boggiest I've encountered in the whole walk today. That's the summit there. That's us just leaving the summit now. Just watching my foot on this boulder field. Once we get off this, should be back at the boff in a couple of hours. And I'll bring you back then. Yeah. Well, this party is rock and roll. <laughs> My dad's away to sleep again. This is his birthday boffy tree as well. Tired. He's tired, he just said. Anyway, we've got a nice roaring fire and we're just going to see out the fire and then probably hit the hay. So um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.